only place I feel safe going there, is back. There we go. It's back to our base on Earth. Oh, All right. Let's get going. Oh, I'm in the back. <laughs> so. I'm missing something. Is that not you? Oh, no, your X Wing I is have... towing that piece. Okay. Yeah, I'm towing the scrap. Okay. The scrap, if we end up just, if, you know, I'll probably end up just dropping it once we hit, like, nearing exiting the gravity well. That way it just disintegrates on impact. But uh, otherwise, I'll keep it and bring it home. Just depends on if we end up fighting something. Because I will not be fighting something while holding this. That's certain. Oh, yeah. The one that you have is the important piece. That's the one I want to make good. By the way, yeah, like I, I am said, sitting in my ship. <laughs> nice. Roger like, that. I said, like I said, I am wanting to actually take apart enemy ships and put them back together and make them work. Um, I'm okay with that. By the way, why are we heading back home for? Uh, to affect the repairs on this uh, husk of a ship that was... Oh, that okay. We were half. Olympus yeah. Mon still be here, That's and that's still our objective, at least for this planet. Oh, yeah. Now it shouldn't take us long to jump back and forth. And especially since now we have uh, coordinates. Indeed. If I, I need to add another FTL drive on my little ship. I might be able to jump here solo in one jump. We just broke Atmo. We're still, we're still in the gravity well. Seems like I could still jump 900 meters while holding this. 100 kilometers. It would take me two jumps to get to Earth. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, to... it'll take us both. Uh, it, it'll take us both that long because we are not leaving you out here. I know. There we go, I turned off the dampener so they don't affect you. Much obliged. I don't You're plan welcome. on being alone out here. <laughs> I have 15 days of power remaining. While running at max speed. I'm nice. Nine. 20 days when I turn off my main engines and just go with my two. Apparently I got 64. <laughs> Though I'm not really running at the moment. Chip is on. Just not running. Not like flying it. I'm just riding. <laughs> I'm at 10,000 meters and getting higher. Yeah, I just broke the 10,000 mark uh, myself. Careful, you're getting a little bit close. Yeah. Oh, never mind. You're still, like, over. Yeah, there. we're above them. meters now. Oh, yeah. five. You weren't kidding. We were right at the we were right at the border of one of the poles. <laughs> Probably the north from what I saw. <clears throat> my uh I now have my main forward my uh what they call my secondary forward engines set to forward at a medium velocity keeping me at hundred meters per second. It 
16.5 Oh, that was 16.6 16.9 17 And we just broke the 17,000 meter mark too You yep. guys look higher up than I am but apparently y'all ain't <laughs> uh, 18 Alright, now you guys are You were slightly above you Up I'm by a little bit, not crazy or well. We're not going. We're not going straight up. I'm, I'm having us. I'm flying directly at the. Uh, I'm flying directly at uh, the near Earth orbit uh, cords. I'm about 200 meters away from you. Twenty thousand. Same. Copy that. Twenty thousand. Oh, this has got a gravity generator in it. Nice. I might just have to attach this piece onto the ship up there. This would be a nice forward facing section. It's got all the stuff set up to be inside. I believe I even have airlocks in that one up there. It wouldn't surprise me. It'd be nice to have another large ship. <clears throat> Hopefully I can get this thing at least running. You're doing it in survival. No more, as far as this thing's concerned, no creative mode. No, this is this is a survival build. Twenty-three thousand, twenty-four thousand meters now. I think the gravity cuts out at thirty-five. Uh, let's see. What? How can I tell gravity percentage? Um, you have to have a gravity. No, in the lower right of your uh, of your hot or the right side of your hot bar, there's a a thing like planetary gravity or p gravity and a gravity. Yep, I think it was like point yeah, thirteen zero point one three grams of p gravity. It's not grams. That's point one thirteen g. For g, g forces. G force. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, restaurant. <laughs> in the <Hey>. mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, mate. I go from one restaurant to another. <laughs> hey, you are absolutely fine. <laughs> I forgot G was... Yeah, the, the force. More than just grabs. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that. Uh, Down to man, point ten. The, the more I look at this ship, the more daunting of a task it feels like. Excited, I get. <laughs> the prominence was my build. This is yours. Indeed. It'll get be away. It'll be nice to have another large ship in the fleet. Indeed it's it gonna take me a, probably a very long time in order to build my own ship. You know what? Stop. Stop. Uh, <laughs> stop putting yourself down. The ship's got an interesting little... Even just building a small ship is very daunting for me. Daunting? Yes. Difficult? For larger ships, it's honestly easier. He's right. You know, it doesn't have to look good. A larger ship's a lot easier to get working than a small ship. It may seem daunting as how large they are, but the blocks are also five times the size. Yep. 3,500. Yep, I'm at 3,500 as well. You both mean 35,000. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Point zero 0.06 G. Won't be too long before we break, uh, before we break free of the gravity. Prominence, how are you? Right up on your left. I see it. I'm astonished. 
your small little your, your small ship is carrying <laughs> I built this thing well <laughs> here's the thing this is using 3.0 um, reactor drives and there's only it's only you can only accelerate a ship so quickly we are effectively out of the gravity well confirmed we are free of gravity so uh Three fourths. What is your maximum jump range? Uh, turn off dampeners so I keep moving forward. Because I'm gonna dial it in. I'm gonna dial in my jump drive exactly to what yours is. Mine says 900 kilometers. set it to near earth orbit yeah I'll do a blind jump at 900 meters all right dialing it in. dialing it in now we could be there is a plus or minus one click margin for error, so we could be as far as two kilometers apart. Okay. That shouldn't be a huge deal, as long as we don't get jumped right away. I agree. Even so, this ship is capable of dealing and sustaining high amounts of damage. So if something does show up, I can get away or have to fight, depending on its threat level. Jeez. 900%, 900 kilometers is 2% of what my maximum jump is. <laughs> oh, boy. I should have merged this ship onto that one before leaving. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to hit jump uh, whenever you're ready. I just, fumbled, I just fudged it again. Aiming directly at Earth. See you on the other side of the jump. All right, jumping in 10 seconds. Oh, this is cool for back here. Four, three, two, one. Make the jump. Ah, uh, you're nowhere to be found for me. How far are you from Earth? Uh, 847 kilometers. Also 847. Checking my antenna and turning up its range. My beacon, my beacon's maxed out at 50k. Me too. I'm right in front of Earth, about 844 meters away. Game pause connection problem. Yeah, I, ha uh, I had a lag spike too. Yeah, I'm 843 meters away from Earth. Hmm. 842 kilometers. I don't see you anywhere. Right. Yeah, we're way further back. How many kilometers do you weigh from Earth? Uh, 842 and 842 and closing. I'm gonna. I know how to solve this. Coordinates. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. My current coordinates I just put up. Uh, copy the clipboard. Dangerous reaver encounter. We do not want to go anywhere that is, near that. That's nearly that. six kilometers. It's basically There's down my, into the uh, yeah. to our There's my GPS right side, so or believe that what is that like is that starboard? Like correct. You are correct. Cords received. Oh God, no wonder we couldn't see you three. You're fifty. You are 51 kilometers away from us. I don't even know how. I just jumped straight towards Earth. We must have been slightly off 
off angle. I'm going to give that dangerous encounter a wide berth. Maintain your position. We are coming to you. 10-4. Five clicks away. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dangerous encounter on the radar in between me and Earth. That yeah. Uh, yeah. Way. Believe me when I tell you we are way closer to that than you are. Five and a half. Oh, no, four and a half, not five and a half. It just, it just popped up in front of me with six kilometers. Oh, hey, there's prominence. Prominent you. Heading towards the prominence. Keeping away from this dangerous encounter. Yeah, give that as wide a berth as you can. There he is. I see his signal. Yep. You just showed up. Perfect. Yeah, we were way okay, off. Okay, we, uh, we're skirting around. Yep. My, my drive is 40% is charge. Well, let's wait to link up with one another before we uh, before we do that again. Yeah, that was just a little terrifying. And it was. At least now I can make a full jump to our GPS coordinate from near Earth orbit. Maybe one of us should jump first and then leave a coordinate for the other person. Um, I made coordinates for near Earth orbit, so... But isn't it dangerous? Well, I mean, I can't make the full jump, though, originally. So I'm saying originally, maybe I should jump, you know, um, you know, 10 seconds before you, make new coordinates, and then mark them for you, so you know exactly where I land, and you can mark it and go to it. Okay, I follow you. I, I follow that. Just in case we have to do this again, that way we know exactly where I'm going. Sixty point eight seven percent charge. It's a great idea for the future, but it's a mood point for the. It's a mood point for this uh, for this journey. Indeed. So once we get there, you're going to be able to make. You're going to be able to make the jump. Exactly. Now it doesn't matter, but then it did. For the future, yeah, it's a, for the future, that's a good idea. Damper's off, I'm just gonna coast. Let my uh, hydrogen engines. What's the risk that we both jump and land in the same spot? Uh, negligible. To the point of almost to the point of non existence. Oh, yeah. Is jumping to coordinates not perf perfect? No, it can be up to a kilometer off in any direction. Okay, good. So if we jump to the same coordinates, we could at most be two clicks, be two clicks away from each other. That being said, what we were doing was a blind jump and. I don't know how you guys got so far in this direction. One degree... One degree difference over 900 kilometers... Is a lot. A, it, it, we're talking about astronomical yeah. distance here. Yeah. My brain just can't see how aiming at the planet didn't get us closer together. The planet's 120 kilometers across. You aim for one side. Fair. It looks small, but you aim for one side, I aim for another side, and we could be 120, we, we could be upwards of 120 kilometers away from each other. That's perfectly fair. Uh -huh. All right. Coming in. All right. We are slowing down by the lot. 88.28%. At least this gave us something to do. <laughs> You say it gave us something to do. I say it gave me a bit of a little bit of a heart attack. You say it gave, yeah. me, gave me something to do. I say I lost two years because of this. <laughs> <coughs> All right, slower down. Coming up. Yeah, I have you on visual now. I don't 
we'll go in front of us now. <laughs> uh, I'm not, not super concerned about that. Hello, three. Hello. I see you over there. Hello. <laughs> My ship truly has the marks of an X-Wing. <laughs> Indeed. You look amazing, dude. You should be very proud of your build. Setting up my drive for the coordinates. Alright, jumping in your ortho orbit. Alright. Jump. Your jump drive starts? Yep, and I'm there. Alright. Prominence jump drive is engaged. Ah. Uh, Have you at one and a half clicks away and in, in climbing. Perfect. I love it when it works. <laughs> Two clicks away from me. I like how one burst of my afterburners sends me from from 30 meters a second to 100 in just a split second. <laughs> just a tap and I'm like, boom, there. Now the question is, is does this Earth actually rotate? Where the heck is our base? Uh, that's two questions, and in order, no. Uh, it just showed up on my, uh, it, it just showed up on my long-range sensors. I see it. That would be really annoying and also really nice if the planets actually rotated. Voxels... Yeah, actually <laughs> accommodate for that. Yeah, voxels don't. Animating voxels is super, super difficult. Stay away, thank you. What? What is? What? Uh, requesting that we stay closer together. I just saw something big back there. Oh, uh, might. Who is this? S P A T or is it S P R T? I think it is S P R T. Uh, S P R T. Something. All right, I'll throttle back so you can get a little bit closer. Yep, him and I beeline for you. I want to be at least to click away. Okay, I'm good. Go ahead and dive downwards. And we are in free fall. Perfect. 36... 36... 37 uh, meters from the surface. 43... 40, uh, just under 43 clicks away from base. 35 clicks from base. I'm sorry, 43 clicks from base, 35,000 meters up. Yep. So, what's more efficient? Stay, or rather, does it even matter? Uh, I know that in real life, the higher up you go, the faster you get somewhere. But in this game, if I fly towards the ground versus flying up towards the atmosphere, will I get across the planet faster? Very, very slightly uh, faster, and that has to do with the fact that there's a speed cap uh, in Space Engineers. That being said, um, there are mods that remove that. Uh, I have never been super comfortable with those, which is why I don't use them. Well, it would be nice if they removed the speed cap in general. However, made it so certain engines had caps on them. Hmm. So that way, you know, you could have 
really awesome, super powerful thrusters with afterburners and be going 400 plus meters a second when you're in the outer atmosphere. However, they don't work as well in the inner atmosphere, so you're only going to go, you know, 110 or, you know, or have caps based off of where you're at in the world. So if you're close to the surface, you're only going to have 100 meters per second, but once you get to space or in the outer atmosphere, you're looking at 200 or 300. Be real careful, guys. We got a Reaver Butcher that just showed up. Uh, just oh, now. yeah. Four clicks out, though. Four clicks away and... That's in, in us. Progress. Oh, did it. It's... All right. You're the, you're the cap. Oh. Oh, no. It's coming in. He's coming. Okay, let's, just, let's just head inwards. Should I detach? Uh, not yet. Oh, he's catching up. Yeah, he won't be able to catch up. He, he... We're going at literal max speed. Yeah, he can. There's can't. no way for them to actually catch up. Having said that, he is in the atmosphere too. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna maintain distance with us. Ma Maybe getting a little bit closer because he's getting closer because he's essentially falling in right behind us. Yeah. But hopefully he can't get to us by the time we get to base. If we can get to base, that would be ideal so our weapons can take it out. Even if he does, um,. Even if he does, the the prominence's turrets can the prominence's turrets can engage. Cause I've had the uh, um, Aurora laser turrets active, and they haven't fired on the uh, they haven't fired on the 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 Hulk or the husk that we've got. So the husk you have is under my name. Awesome. Um, I claimed it, and every block is mine. <laughs> That's why the shield damage it. Excellent. Because normally, if it was an enemy craft, your shield would just... Okay, we're it. starting to gain gain some ground back. Nope. Yeah, I think you... I think you went... I think you found something else to go after. No, it still looks like it's coming after us. I think it just might be targeting me and not you guys. And I'm at a slightly different angle. Well, yeah, but you're running hard for uh, the planet's surface as well, so it should be maintaining speed with us, but for whatever reason, it isn't. It's We're gaining ground on this thing. It's fair, but it's not going away. It might just be slowed down. No. Or we just have better engines. Uh, That's true. It might be slowing down a little bit. I can just turn my engines on like just one click of my forward thrust engines. I'm able to maintain speed right now. So 18 kilonewtons. Yeah, it's just it's maintaining five kilometer distance. It's still closing on us. Uh, it just it's slowly increasing distance from, from us. 4.62, 4.63. It's kind of jumping around. The four mark. It's, it's sustained five kilometers for me, and considering how many kilometers we've traveled, it's it's definitely still targeting us. Okay, There's no doubt. We write it. Then you're probably right. I think it is. It is uh, following you. Yeah, it's just it's still sitting at five kilometers. I like get down and get this. 3,800. Uh, I'm at, at 2,000 meters from the surface. Going in full on, we're going in full on free fall thunder. I see it. <laughs> I have 
base on visual. Yep, I am three meters from base. Three meters? Three kilometers, sorry. Two kilometers. Ooh, base is lag. coming into visual range. Because everything's loading in. Yep. Bases within visual range are now have sight of a large blue and red. Just Cactus. completed suicide burn. Lagging like crazy. Me too. They are now shooting at something. I what they're shooting at? They're shooting at something. I am bringing in the scrap and dropping it nearby. Be careful not to hurt my baby. How did that? I'm not able to unpark. We're ship fire from that reaver. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I apologize, three fourths. I might have uh, I might have damaged your prize just a little bit. Oh good. Oh this thing's got Oh, I can't do anything because, uh, wait a minute. Why is everything red? Uh... Here we are. Those were my Typhon accelerators. They went straight through the thing. Oh, your ship might be offline, maybe? No, I, his engines are it's firing. His engines are on. Oh, 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 shit. It's okay, I got it. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I lost all my wings. I'm what? sorry. That was my fault. That was my fault. I pressed P to drop, to disengage my landing gear. And, uh... Oh, you need to turn the connectors to not be used for parking. Or the connectors that you have said. That uh, way they don't get affected by well, your. Uh, oh! Um, it's worse than just missing wings. Oh. Oh, man. Shoot. Thunder, I am so sorry. Eh. I will help you build it. That was entirely my fault. I forgot that new feature was a thing. I just found out something. My, uh... Oh, ba, ba, ba. Ah, rotate! Hi! Okay. Uh, note to self. I can carry things in... well... in not a gravity well. Um, you do realize we were on Mars when we when we lifted off with that uh, with that thing. I haven't picked up this giant piece yet. <laughs> I picked up its smaller little brothers. Okay. You can copy and paste grids in creative mode only. Yes. What are you trying to do? Uh, take out the V two. Uh, you won't be doing it that way. You'll be... I'll show you. We have to actually build it. Um, let me grab your ship and bring it into the shields, because that was some mighty, mighty damage. Yeah, that was entirely, entirely nope. my fault. Yeah. Oh, jeez, man. Uh, yeah, you don't have, uh... I don't have no know. wings. I don't have insides. I don't have no okay. weapons. Let's get this ship in. And let's get your uh, V2 going. Oh, yeah, you got... That gutted you. Yeah, badly. Dude. Bad sen. Yeah. <laughs> of course, on recording, too. Hey, Poor shit, what? man. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get that thing up and running before you know it. Can I, I... use your, uh... Can I use your, like... Attachment 
point for your uh, for your space trucker as a as a, a projector location? Uh, I mean, yeah, I don't see why not. I thought I built a different one. I must have moved it or removed it. Oh no, wait! I have a I have a place for his ship. Don't worry about it. Okay, awesome. Yeah, up here, right behind where that attachment point is. I have this piece here, and all you gotta do is place down a empty connector. So let's uh, make it so. And why am I in creative mode? I don't know why I'm in creative mode. That oh, must go out of creative mode. I just did. Wait, this is. Hold up. My brain stopped working for a second. And why the heck was I in creative mode? I must have thrown myself in creative mode yesterday for some reason. At the very end, you put it. You put in creative mode. Put us. Put yourself in creative cryo. mode. Cryo. No, the the cryopods. Yep. So we need this piece. We need it. Just be placed above it like so. Just gotta weld this up. Then there we are. And now just use control and lock. Didn't let me. Okay. Let's get. Now I need to go grab some steel plates. My uh, thing is in there. We'll grab H2. A hydrogen bottle. Why are you only at? I want a full hydrogen bottle, thank you. Need to set this to share with the uh, faction the connector. Why the connector? Because I can't access the projector. Me neither. Oh, here, all I I have his ship on my saves. Uh, we need a control panel. Stand by. Here we are. A computer construction component. Yeah, I need a construction component computer and display. Construction component computer and display? Yeah. I'm on it. steel plates, 100 metal grids, 100 construction components. I want the computers. I need a display. I don't see the displays here. I have the computers and the construction components. I don't see the displays. I just grabbed a bunch out. I believe you. I just didn't see them. Hmm. Oof. Oh, right, I need an interior plate. That was the other one. Right. 
control panel is not complete, but it is active. about this one it has a little more firepower than the the v1 yeah i asked a little more yeah just a those, little those things that you got on there can pierce straight through a, we a reaver's shields <laughs> and then one hit the reaver because uh normally the the other one had three on each wing this has four Okay, so yeah, it is only... It, it's a slight, slightly more. Again, I wouldn't necessarily consider anything with these slight. Oh, oh yeah, the, uh, the, even the V1, you can see, can handle herself really well. <laughs> Just imagine what this one will yeah. do. Oh, indeed. And uh, it'll build right off of this little container on the back, and you'll just grind off that piece. Um, actually, I'm going to do something before the ship gets built fully. I'm going to back up for one. Then I'm going to grind up this a bit. Factory is trying to come alive, so... It's only a matter of time before it gets to the build. It might also be committing itself to repairing your Reaver Hulk. Husk, I should say. Hopefully oh. it's repairing and not oh. destroying. Oh, it's... I don't think I have a... Uh, yeah, actually, we don't have a repair beacon on this thing, so it wouldn't. Yeah, not yet. Not yet, anyway. But uh, it will. I will make sure of that. Let's see, where did I place it? I placed it right inside the shells. It's got a lot of work that needs to be done on this thing.
frames. <laughs>